Welcome everyone. We are now in round seven. We're on the draw, and I think I need to mulligan. All right, this seems pretty good. Let's just get rid of one of the snaps. Let's see what we're up against. Okay, so this looks to be like the Delver Fey list again. I think I'm gonna ponder. All right, we'll just keep everything. We'll draw the one Archaeomancer. And then I think I'm going to cycle the Ash Barons. Okay. Because we're looking to get our planes. I want to start drawing some things that have uh, some value here. I need value cards to win this. Interesting. Okay. Team analysis is pretty good. if they're going to tap out for the monarchy. If they do, I'd have to go like fam, snap, mancer. They don't. All right. Are they going to miss a land drop? They did miss a land drop, so that's very good for me. I can count on just like probably playing out the deep analysis. I don't know if they got distracted or whatever. They're going to discard a card. Scred. Um, I'll go ahead and use my mana this turn. Okay. Sunscape familiar. Snap that, Seagate Oracle, draw some cards. I knew that they were looking to play the Commodore actually, just seemed like that's what they wanted to do. I guess we take the Moldrifter. So they're going to need a removal spell for this. Okay. They play an Augur of Bolas. Finds a counter spell. Everybody's on that monarchy today. I think it's probably pretty good in the lists. So, I think I would like to try to look for a Chancery or something. At least more lands, because I'm kind of stuck. I skipped land once already. I think what I'm going to do here is play this out, snap my faithful, and then play my mold drifter. <clears throat> that gives me an opportunity to uh, attack if they don't kill it, which they look like they're going to kill it. But I got some cards. That's a three for one. They still have counterspell up in their hand. Okay, so they can counter this. Let's just go do this. Preordain. Okay. 
Okay, so they do they do uh, bite with the spell setter sprite, and I'm going to snap that. Counter spell. Okay, I guess I'll keep the counter spell. Play Sunscape Familiar. Play uh, Faithful. Mancer, get back. Preordain. Okay, that's pretty good. We got a lot of value. I know they have counter spell and spell starter sprite. And I can eat the spell starter sprite with the last breath. I think we can uh, force our way through. They both are cam answer. That's not too bad. They still have seven cards in hand. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the monarchy. Woo. I'm tired. I guess I'll just play this out because I need mana. It's deep analysis. You counter, I counter, probably. Okay, so now next turn I have a lot of interaction that I can use. So if they bolt now... Okay. That probably means they have ninja in hand. So they're going to bolt. I ephemerate. They can't use ninja. If they spell setter sprite it. Sounds get familiar. Go ahead and uh, I think just preordain. Um, do I want the faithful right now? I don't think I do. I think I'm kind of past that point. Trying to chain together some creatures that can attack. They are brainstorming, looking for some action. They've used pretty much all their removal already. One, two, three, four, five. They might six. One. Two. Wow, that's crazy. Mortuary Mar is good to get back Mold Drifter. Down for that. Alright. Opponent still has a million cards in hand because of the monarchy, but we are um, keeping pace. So, let's see. They only have five lands. They have six lands now. They have Counterspell. They have probably another Sprite. So, they're going to probably try to manage my... Um, okay, I knew they had Ninja, I think. They're gonna ninja. So they can't sprite and uh and counter spell. And now that the I have so many blockers, the ninja doesn't really matter. Plus I can get in for the monarchy if they don't do anything. Just gonna cast the sprite. Okay, so I'll do this. Yeah, zap that. Die forever. Counter spell. Actually, still has a counter spell in hand. Actual, factual counter spell. I think I'm gonna tap these and then chancery back the mire to get back something else good. Taking the monarchy is good here. 
see what we draw. Flicker. Okay. Um, let's flicker to get a bunch of cards and uh, a bunch of blockers. Oof. Quite a few misses. Mold Drifter off the top is great. So they have to play the Monarch card. They have Counterspell in hand, though. They're going to play their Monarch. Of course, I'm just going to take it back. So let's see if they do anything about that. Reardine. See if they have a spell setter spread in hand. Okay, they do. Slam a mole drifter. Uh, attack. So you have to block with your spell setter sprite. They decide not to block. Probably because the Crimson Fleet Commodore has trample. No, they are going to block. Okay. I can understand. I can dig it. We're going to evoke this Muldrifter and ephemerate it. And then what should I do? I guess I'm just going to hold up my two spells. I can double block the Commodore. I can block here and block here with the familiar. We're always going to yield to that, no big deal. Let's see where we are in standings. 28th, oof. So, still kind of the top of the 4 twos. I need to get a 5-2 and then a 7-2. So, let's do it. Alright, what are you going to do, opponent? I, I think they're going to attack. Okay. I will block. Certainly. Okay. All right. Gonna prohibit that because I don't want them to draw three cards. They counterspell. Okay. I don't know if I drew any Archaeum answers this uh, game. Doesn't seem like it. All right. <sighs> Stay calm. Okay. Um, bounce these guys. He's okay. So that's not what I would have done. So. I basically am saying, go away these things, and then I'm going to slam in for the monarchy. <clears throat> the counterspell got used. All right, so seeing an oracle, just quick peek at what's going on. There's an Archaeomancer. So Archaeomancer, back Ephemerate, Ephemerate, get back Ephemerate, Ephemerate, get back, snap, play this, pick up here, just go ahead and snap the ninja because it doesn't matter. And then play a mold drifter. All right, cool. Well, I can get rid of this and this. Whatever. 
put all my lands over here. This is the land that I want to play. So they have quite a few cards in hand. I have the monarchy. Not really sure how they're going to win this one. But it's possible. So here they go. They got a scry. Probably bottom bottom. Okay. Fairy seer. They're going to go bottom bottom again. Top bottom. Interesting. Augur and Bolus is going to draw a card for them. Oh no, they have still have that mountain in hand. Whoops. Puts no cards. Oof. That's rough. So they have mountain and ninja, I think. Hardcast ninja. Okay. Wow, I have like no cards in my deck. <laughs> do, 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 do. But I have four Moldrifters out. I'm just going to attack a lot of times. I don't think they can win. Um, I think the plan should be... Yeah, let's upkeep... Get back to Familiar on upkeep, snap them out, attack, and then uh, hold up prohibits. That's going to be the plan. Or I guess just snap back the fairies ears and hold back prohibits, because the ground guys don't matter very much. Alright, I don't know what's going on over there, so I'm going to pause it until they come back. Okay, they passed the turn. And now I get to do my ephemerating. Okay, we're gonna pause again. Okay, so we get to play this ephemerate on the Mancer. Ephemerate here. Liquor, and then this will let us natural draw the Sunscape Familiar, instead of having to do a lot of work. And then I can just go land, land, Sunscape. Tap this. We'll do her Mancer, get back, snap. Snap that. Basically our win condition is here, just get back, prohibit, and counterspell. another familiar because I can then I'm gonna untap these lands here and swing out taste it so then we're going to discard the God Pharaoh's faithful and uh, just start putting them back on top of the deck Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 damage, uh, which means at the end of their turn, we should probably just snap them out and then uh, go from there. You know what? Since it doesn't matter, and I'm gonna snap them out anyway, it's not that big of a, a clock punch to uh, wait until the end of turn and not counter them here. I probably should have countered that though. That, that should have been countered. Anything that actually draws a card at this point, I should counter. Okay. 
So that's a no. That's a yes counter. <clears throat> so they counter my prohibit and then I just flicker. Prohibit again. <laughs> if whatever is in their hand last is not like a land or a dead draw, then you kind of uh okay, so it's a ninja. So I'll just go like this. Snap that. I'm gonna snap. Snap them out. Oh no. Okay then. So magic sometimes does not like 800 uh, things happening at once. Sorry about all the background noise. Okay. Let's go back to our match. Frustrating. All right. Where were we? Snap. Snap that. Is it going to fail again? Oh. Annoying. That's really annoying. Oh well. So now I cannot win on this turn because of the crashing and the whatnots. <sighs> okay, so if I'm right. Get back my prohibits. What is happening? Wow, I'm super tired. I'm clicking the wrong things and everything. Yuck. We're going to discard all these cards. Now just counter every single thing and then attack again. It's just really annoying. Okay, stay in the game. I need, need more caffeine, I think. Alright, here we go. Sorry. Woof.
Okay, so, I mean, in their mind, I still haven't used half my clock, so I think it's fine, and they're super behind. The next two games will probably go faster because there's less, like, random interaction and stuff. They're going to be more on Pyroblast, and if they win hard, if they win, it's going to be quick. If I win, it's probably going to be quick. Zap that. Zap that. Six. So now I have F6 so that I'm not losing time. And then if they do attack, I will double block the ninja and uh, block with my Sun's Gate Familiars. At this point, there's nothing they can do. I'll just attack with everything in F6. And I, in order to save time, I'm just going to click no on the ephemerate tr triggers and not even worry about it. Maybe they're double queuing or something. They're double queuing, and it's taking them as much time to play as I am single queuing, because I'm just flickering everything. All right. We're waiting on them to come back. Hmm. All right, I'll pause it again. Sorry, buddy. And as soon as I paused it, they actually pressed OK. So no, no, F6, attack with everything, OK. And then I can just hit the OK button a lot, and they will lose. We can move on with our lives. Let's get there. We have a little bit of a battle to make it to the top eight, and then we can try to play for that PT spot. Just have to battle. Okay, so I didn't see any Delvers, which means that I can cut on the Faithful, bring in the last breath for the small things, and the Ephemerate for the Mana Leak. I want to be able to counter that uh, Monarch, so let's just do this. So Monarch, Monarch. That's my standard sideboarding, and we'll see how that goes. Prismatic strands did not matter at all so far. Haven't really seen any aggro. Hopefully that continues to be the case. All right, we will pause again. All right, we're back. We're on the draw. This is pretty mediocre. But we have a lot of land drops. I'm going to keep it. It's going to be pretty good for stalling for time. There's a Delver. Well, there... <laughs> that sucks. That means I'm going to have to go Island, Chancery back an Island, discard an Island, and then try to set up a point where I can just snap that jerk out. I guess if they do flip it... Oh no, I should probably get a Plains, huh? No, we'll get a Plains just in case, in case we can uh, do anything with that Plains. Counterspell. So we'll go Plains... Island, upkeep snap. Hmm. Maybe they counter it. Oh, my phone is going to time out. That's fine. Um, so, I've been thinking on the Delver situation. Um, seems like when my opponent is on Delvers, I probably want to have less reliance on um, Echoing Truth. I mean, less reliance on 
Okay. They're gonna play that. Another counter spell. Okay. That's a bummer. So let's get a planes. See what we draw. Bounce that. Um, I want to have less reliance on last breaths because I need to live longer and it's problematic. I think they're going to ninja. And I'll snap the ninja. And just kind of start trying to tempo them some. Okay, they don't ninja. Wow. I've made a horrible mistake keeping this hand, it seems. Swinging in. So I can go Chancery and then counter. Or I can try to snap the counter and then I... It doesn't really matter, right? <sighs> so I play the Sunscape Familiar. And they can either counter it or lightning bolt it. So they decide they're going to lightning bolt it. I'll just ephemerate in response. So they go for a counter spell. I'll snap out this thing. At least I can uh, live a turn. I know they still have one more counterspell in hand. I believe, anyway. Unless it was some brainstorm shenanigans, but I don't think so. They went top top, so it's going to flip again. Wow, this is... Rough. Um, bottom. So they probably can counterspell this. Yeah. Okay. And then next turn, I'm going to take five. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so I want the Faithfuls back. Hydroblast, probably not. Take the last breaths away, right? So we just have a bunch of negates and like just counter interaction type stuff. Oh, and then the Echoing Truth. So let's try to tempo and live or negates. Maybe that'll work. Game three. Um, keep, I guess. This is going to be good, maybe. Um, I needed to draw a Plains or a Chancery. I do have a Preordain to try to get there. If I can get a third land, the Mold Drifter is going to be good. We'll see. My opponent's only on six minutes. I probably should have not scooped and like made them do it, but... I don't play that way. So we missed on the preordain. Hopefully this hits. Please be a bounce land. Island. Play the island, go. Now 
Do I want the deep analysis? Wow, okay. So that means I can just play out the um, Seagate, which is fine and good. I thought I was going to get force spiked. Am I going to get force spiked? Please don't. <laughs> Uh, probably just take the prohibit since I can't cast the deep analysis. Do they ninja? No. Okay. Um, so I can chancery, pick up the island, and attack. Okay, I feel much better now that I have that Chancery. Sure, they draw a card. Okay, so someone explain this to me. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right at all. Nah. I'm going to snap the ninja and see if they'll do something. They decide to pyro, so we're in, that seems great. Uh, let's take the snap. So I kinda, at least I ate a card out of their hand, right? So we can cycle this for a planes, play the faithful, Play the familiar. Send. I've got to prohibit. They're not going to be drawing off this specific ninja. They might draw off the other ninja. Just block here. Remember, if, if they had bolt, they could have bolted earlier. So here's another ninja. Okay. And they play Fairy Seer, so now I get to Drifter Flicker and draw five cards. So we're going to attack. I could also not drifter flicker and just drifter and hold the flicker but i think it's fine i want to completely refill my hand because this is a really good moment for me able to land the flicker because i have the prohibit so oh snap i can snap this that way i have the um Protection for the flicker. Counter that. And now, drifter flicker. So now we are very far ahead, I think. Our Kamancer and Ephemerate. So our Kamancer is going to force the flicker to be eaten. But that's good because then they get rid of their frantic. Damn. Play their other frantics just in time. Brainstorm. Okay. They brainstorm. Hmm. Get rid of the snap. Okay. Lock, lock. So we have a negate. All right. Uh, do this. Sunscape familiar. Lancer, try to get the flicker. They counter it. I mean, they, uh, they relic. 
Okay. Uh, Seagate. I take the deep analysis, and then I guess just Mortuary Mire six. I don't think there's any way they can win on time now. I'm got a lot of life here. Did they already use their brainstorm? Yeah. Okay. To get a red blast, red blast, familiar or uh, well gesture. So let's just try to negate it. They probably have a counterspell too, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, they're gonna get in with the fairy seer. All right, so now they weren't thinking, and I just kill that and block. I think they're just pressuring me and the clock, maybe. I don't know. So let's go faithful, preordain. Don't need this. Take a prohibit. Draw some cards. More cards, please. Hmm. Um. I guess I have to just wait on this, huh? Yeah. I want to Echoing Truth back to Seagate Oracles to get more value, but I want to hold up Prohibit and Negate. I have a feeling they have a uh, another ninja in hand, which is unfortunate. But they can, like, ninja this back, I Echoing Truth the ninjas, then what happens? Then they Sprite? Uh, I don't want to do that. You get a card. Card for you. Cast Mold Drifter, for sure. Okay. Negate. And then you prohibit. Then I are you uh, sprite and then I prohibit. So I could see an oracle here and see what happens. Flicker. I'll just put back the mold drifter. And pass. And then I guess next turn I'm going to start trying to win by attacking. It does take quite a while. I think this deck is very powerful, but very, very time consuming. They kill the mold drifter with a bolt. Get in. No fourth ninja. Cast another mold drifter. Um. Snap. Mm. I don't know what I want to do. I want to get this mold drifter back, but I kind of want to be able to like have counter spells. Okay. I think that's just the one counter spell that they had. Okay, they have a dispel. Fine. Frustrating. <laughs> I 
Let's see if I have enough cards yet. Unfortunately, we can't win that turn. So now we'd say, do you have a counterspell? Because if you don't, now I'm going to go off. You do. Oh. Okay. Pick that up. Deep analysis. Oh, look. Arcane answer. Get flicker. Okay, sent. Now I'm just bouncing the Faithfuls because I don't want to waste the time anymore. Draws a card with Frantic. I have 85 life. It doesn't matter. Fine. Okay. Now they are putting me under clock pressure, which is tough for me, but I can get there. Boom, boom. As every match has come down to the wire, the bare minimum. Okay. Nah. <sighs> okay, draw a drifter. So one, two, three, four. Flicker. Carrier has arrived. Do this. Now we have infinite counter spells. Okay. <laughs> so they bolt the gate. Sure, sure, sure. And that's it. We finally win again. All right. It feels good. So we're five and two. And uh, we'll see you in the next round. See ya.